Hey guys, so we're always adding traditional Japanese foods to the uh, food playlist, but I thought I'd show you something that's not traditional Japanese. This is in a curry house. Nice tasty salad there. This is called katsukari. That, um, that meat is uh, crumbed beef. So when they crumb um, meat here, they call it katsu. So um, beef katsu, chicken katsu pork katsu, whatever else they katsu. Um, so it's a uh, beef katsu curry sitting on 400 grams of rice. So pretty tasty. Um, yeah, curry's pretty popular in Japan. You do tend to find it a bit around the place in, uh, in uh, family style restaurants and so on. Um, here's the menu, lots of salads, big variety of salads. Very tasty, always, always tasty, always fresh. Like all food in Japan, they're very careful about making sure it's all good quality and it's all fresh. And uh, there's a calamari salad, bacon salad, uh, sausages, sausage salad, sausage salad, more katsu, uh, more calamari, uh, ebi, what do you call them, prawns, um, shrimp, more sausages. I do like sausages. Family restaurant. This is fairly typical of a family restaurant um, with the picture menu and uh, yeah, sausages and things. It's all fairly um, standard for family restaurants in Japan. So pretty tasty, the old curry. Curries are popular here and very tasty. There's a, what's that, a chicken, fried chicken and egg. Uh, salad curry. Vegetable, vegetable curry, uh, uh, whatever that is. Balls curry. Oh, th there's a good one. Egg, um, egg omelets. Egg omelets are quite popular in family restaurants. Um, so it's an egg omelet curry. So just gotta be careful with the egg omelets. You gotta ask them to cook it well because they do tend to undercook egg. They don't like egg real well cooked. Matter of fact, they prefer it raw. But when they do cook it, it does tend to be a bit undercooked. So you gotta ask them to cook it properly. Same with your octopus legs. Um, always good to get your octopus legs. Uh, cooked well when you have them in your curry. Check that out. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, and there's this. Um, you guys probably recognize this from your own countries. It's a bit of a thing, but they do tend to fill the glasses with ice before they put the drinks in them. So you tend to end up getting a very small amount of whatever it is that you order. So I don't know if they learnt that trick from McDonald's, but uh, it's a fairly popular trick in the family restaurants. Please subscribe to the Japan channel. <laughs> <laughs>